Hello, and welcome to another walkthrough from WebFongs. Today, we're going to talk about conversion API tracking and metapixel tracking. What are the benefits of each? What is the purpose for each? And how much do they differ from each other? Okay, I'm gonna share my screen with you now. As you can see it on my screen, I've got a pixel tracking implemented for our webfonts.com website. And in, a, in, here, in here, there's an option for you to connect another integration using meta conversion API tracking. So this is a new conversion API tracking that has been provided by Meta. And the main purpose for this one is to enable server tracking on from your website directly to the Meta. So I'm not too sure if you guys know about, but um, as of February, 2024, there has been talks, I mean, there have been talks about in the last couple of years, but there has been talks about uh, going away from cookies from the browsers. So all the third party cookies are gonna get deprecated from the browsers, as in Chrome, Mozilla, Safari, most of them are already doing that. So these cookies were actually the main uh, expect for you to track website user data. So this was relevant for Google Analytics and this was relevant for Google uh, Metapixel as well. Because both of the platforms, Metapixel and Google Analytics used to rely on cookie data, browser sending data to the website, to the third party apps as, as like them, if they're gonna get deprecated, so they had to go uh, with the new platform. So for example, Google Analytics actually launched GA4 and Metapixel actually gave you an option to implement G, uh, make conversion API tracking. So the purpose of both actually remains the same, to have a code implemented on the website so that you can actually get some data tracking available from you. Whether it is used for um, ad tracking, whether it is used for uh, retargeting opportunities. So the purpose of basically both of them remains the same. But what has actually has changed from the conversion API is it is a data collection method. So it basically, changes the data from pixel being sent from the web browser directly to the meta. Instead of the web browser, the, when it loads, it actually sends data to the server, changing it to the first party cookie tracking. And that first party cookie tracking is sent directly to the uh, meta reporting for your uh, conversions, for your remarketing list, for your audience generation. So this is going to be a very important step this year in 2024, when most of the browsers are going to stop um, having this um, browser sending data to third party cookies that tracking enabled. So conversion API is going to be the new normal for everyone to have any sort of reporting enabled, enabled in your meta platforms. So as you can see, uh, we have got some event tracking enabled at the moment and there is our website and the pixel is tracking at the moment, but this is going to go away and only conversion API is the option. So it is better that you implement this tracking as soon as possible, because at the moment, if you have both tracking enabled, Facebook or Meta is actually going to use both reporting and give you the reporting as both of the integrations and give you the reporting as one. But as the time comes and, and, and as you get less and less cookies, less and less browser sending data to the Meta Pixel, your conversion API is going to overtake and get most of your reporting enabled for your tracking. Yeah, so as I was saying, there are some key differences using the conversion API. It is the first is a data collection method. Second is a data accuracy. You actually get more data, accurate data from the server. And the second, third is the event tracking. So it actually also enables you to have um, user data sent to Meta for reporting. Obviously you can hash it and, and you can limit what that sort of data that you want to send to Meta as well based on the server, but actually gives you the control for the security. Um, one of the main things that it, you need to make sure is you need to update your privacy policy before you do that. Any user coming to your website needs to know that their data has been recorded for advertising and for marketing purposes. Yeah, I hope you find this useful. And if you need any help regarding uh, implementation for the conversion API in your accounts, let us know and we'll be in touch. Cheers, thank you.